It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. Hey, this right here is based on all true stories. Of the life of T Killer. The beat card too. Let's get it. It's your boy T Killer out here with Barhead TV. Come get these bars, man. You know, we done out here, man. What makes you want to rap? You know what I'm saying? I was inspired by a lot of people. Biggie, Pop. But I grew up, you know what I'm saying? I grew up on T.I. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Where are you Where are you originally from? Like, Byron, Georgia, Tumorville, or where? Where was you born? I was born in Warner Robins Hospital. But we moved around and we got to Byron. I moved to Tumorville with my grandmother. Okay. Do you like do you like just rap? Or are you a singer slash rapper? Or are you a straight rapper? I'm a straight rapper. Okay, how long have you been rapping? I've been rapping since I was 10 years old and you know what I'm saying? Rap okay. for some years now. Okay, so out of everything in life, what made you want to choose rapping as your career? Well, I figured if they can do it, I can do it. And by they, I mean my idols, Outkast, T.I., all them, I figured, you know what I'm saying? Okay, when will you, when will your first album drop? My first album will be dropping as soon as possible. Okay. Okay, who are your two favorite rappers? And out of everybody that you just named, who would you name your two favorite rappers? Well, old school, I gotta say my Uncle Snoop, a.k.a. Snoop Dogg. New school? New school, I got to say 21 Savage. Okay, so what made you choose those two? What's so good about Snoop Dogg? Snoop Dogg, he actually spitting the truth, you know what I'm saying? He ain't faking, he ain't doing all that. But what made you choose 21 Savage out of everybody? 21 Savage, he really spitting where he really come from. He don't explain it that deeply, but you can understand where he coming from when he rapping. Okay, so are you on the same mindset as 21 Savage or you just like how he perform or what? I like everything about it, you know what I'm saying? His mindset, meaning he's spitting the truth, he ain't spitting no lies. And the way he performed, he got it lit, he got a sad story lit. Okay, so who is T Killer? What is he about? Well, as me being T Killer, I gotta tell y'all that T Killer, he's about, you know what I'm saying, positivity, making money. Supporting his family, doing what he got to do for his family, you know what I'm saying? And he all about hard work. Got to get it. Okay, so what made you name yourself T-Killer? Like, out of every name, what made you choose T-Killer? Was you growing up in a rough neighborhood? Was it gang violence that made you choose that? Or is it just a name that you thought that would, like, just catch people's eyes? Well, yes, it is a name I thought that would catch people's eyes. But as a youngin', I was always rapping around the neighborhood and all that. They'd be like, Trey, you killed that. You know what I'm saying? So I'd be like, all right, T. Killer, that's going to be the name for me. Okay. So, um, out of everyone that you have rolled up around, who would you say your number one role model, somebody that you would like to be like, you know, go behind their footsteps and try to accomplish things that they accomplished, like your mother, your father, your grandfather, someone like that that's been positive in your life, who would you say would be your number one role model? Well, I'm glad you asked that question because my mama, as, when I was little, she always told me never give up. And my daddy, he was always hard working, you know what I'm saying, putting money in my pocket. And my granddad, my grandfather, you know what I'm saying, I used to hang with him a lot, we used to sit back, listen to old school music. So yeah, pretty much a combined all three of them too. Okay. So when were you, um, what's your birthday? Like when were you born? What year? I was born November 11th. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, so what's your, um, like what's something that you, like what's your favorite food? Favorite snack, favorite food? Well, when I'm in the studio and we really working hard, Takis, gotta have my Takis. My favorite food to have on a plate, Fried chicken. Okay, okay, okay. Do you have any new like singles coming out? Like, do you have anything that you're dropping, working on right now as we speak? Let's get well, it. Let's get it. I will be dropping a song Tell called Tell Me How You Tell Feel, and then I just did a song with my boy Isa like King. You know what I'm saying? Barhead. Yeah. It's called Breaking Up. Okay. So are these about like some of the emotions that you all have been going through? Y'all just heard me sing. It's like a whole combined everything that I just 
this experience when I'm blue and breaking up whatever it is by the very stretch of summer. Hope I can do it just to show you how we So, what's your favorite love song? Well, I'm a country boy, so I'm wrong. I like to ride dirt bikes. I love to do a whole lot of things, you know what I'm saying? Hang out, play ball, all that. Okay, okay, okay. So, what are you still in school at the time? Yeah, I am. I'm still in school, you know what I'm saying? Education is key. Okay. Well, we see that you have, you know, a burger bandana on. Just, just trying to see. I'm not saying that you are a gangbanger. I'm just saying, do you rep any set or are you affiliated with any type of gang? No, I get that from a lot of people, though. They be like, why are you wearing so many bandanas? Me, my point of view, I can wear whatever I want, when I want. And I got a whole bunch of bandanas, you know what I'm saying? Got a whole collection out here, you know what I'm saying? Got a, got plenty more where that came from. So, no, I'm not a gang member. I just love the bandana culture. I wear it with every outfit. Okay, okay. That's nice to know because gang bang is very violent and it's, you know, it's a lot going on out here in these streets, especially for rappers. We see and hear about a lot of young rappers getting hurt and killed or petty stuff that shouldn't even be happening. So, is there anyone, any other rapper that you out there beefing with at the time? Well, no, not really. No, no. Not okay. Beefing with any other rapper. See, my motto is we can make this money together instead of beefing. You write your lyrics, I write mine. Okay. I want to talk a little bit about Barhead Music. What makes you want to join Izzy and make songs with Izzy? Like, do you like the way he rap? Do you like the way he carry himself? How his business going? I mean, just tell us a little bit about what makes you want to start recording. Well, I heard about Izzy from a long way, you know what I'm saying? He's very hard working and when he writes his music, he's all about his life. Even though, like, you know what I'm saying? It's about the past, but he's still writing about it. He got so much and so much more. Okay, okay. So you feel like is a good role model for you when it comes down to rapping and trying to have your own thing going? Yeah, that's about right. Yeah, He's a okay. good role model and we're doing what we got to do. We hard working. Okay, okay. So um, how long have you been recording with Barhead Music? Well... I've been recording. Like how many songs have you done? Every song that you done was it with Barhead or did you do some other places? I did some some other places, but I figured Barhead was the right place for me, you know what I'm saying? We did Get Me Out of the Tunnel and the songs that I just told you about breaking up and tell me how you feel. We got those three. We have plenty much more to come. Okay, okay. So I see now it sounds like you and Barhead will be going a long way. A very long way. Okay, that's good. So, is there any other rappers like that you want to like be a part of your music? Like you want to feature on one of your songs or something like that? Yeah, it actually is. You know what I'm saying? They ain't even gotta be big rappers. They just they as long as they underground rappers. You know what I'm saying? Like anybody. You know what I'm saying? As long as they spitting the truth, they ain't spitting no lies. They ain't disrespecting no women. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. So I see that you really respect. You're black queens these days, huh? Yeah. That's good, that's good. So, um, is that a king? Um, I had an interview with him probably, what, about a month ago, I can say. Um, I had a very good interview with him. He was very, very respectful, you know. He came in, he speak the truth, he said what he had to say, and he made it brief. But, it's one thing I want to ask you. If you had to tell anyone about Izzy, what would you tell them about him? Like, far as his work ethic, anything that concerns his business? Well, if I had to tell anybody about Izzy, I'd say, this man hard working. He doing what he got to do, making that money, stacking that check, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh, okay, okay, okay. Well, I guess we're about to wrap this interview up. Is there anything else that you want to say? to your fans, to people that just starting out to be rappers, any type of advice, like positive things that you want to give them? 
Well, to all my fans and the lovely ladies, I love y'all. And everybody doing what they doing out here, coming up in the rap game. Keep working, you know what I'm saying? Get that money up. Do what you do. Hustle. Get hard, you know what I'm saying? Go get it. Hey, man, what's up? It's your boy T. Kill out here with Barhead TV. Come get these bars, man. You know, we done out here, man. On uh, hustling, we getting that money, making music, you know what I'm saying? Let's get it. Get me out of the tunnel. Get me out of the tunnel. Get me out. Get me out. Get me out of the tunnel. Get me out of the tunnel. Get me out of the tunnel. Get me out. Get me out. Get me out of the tunnel. I'm in the tunnel zone, twisted. My life is prolific, explicit. How I spit it is vivid. So you get it, get me out of the tunnel. Get me out. Get me out. Get me out of the tunnel. Get me out. Get me out. Get me out. Hey, get me out of the tunnel. It's like I'm living in hell. My 13th birthday, my dad was sitting in the cell. My uncle been in. I swear to God when he did I